So for the past month, I've been working on my Lethal Company remake, Unpaid Workers, which is set to release into Early Access February 23rd. Now throughout development, I have saved 48 different versions of the game, dating all the way back to January 14th when I saved the first version. And a lot has changed, so let's take a look back on everything that's been added from day one to now. So my Lethal Company game originally started as me making a one-to-one -one copy of Lethal Company in Roblox. Then, after receiving a surplus of positive comments and well wishes for the game, I decided maybe it would be for the best if I changed up the gameplay a little bit. And that's when I made the video updating my Lethal Company remake so Zekers doesn't sue me, and it was the start of Unpaid Workers. Just can't sleep tonight, can I? Okay, so that's good. I think I need some water. No. One thing I realized though was that I needed a team of developers. If I tried to make this game by myself, it probably wouldn't have gotten released until the summer, which that's not gonna work. So I found the most talented, creative, extraordinary developers to form a team, and they would be paid with a percentage of the game. The team consists of the following people. Goobs, Legend, B3, Dilla, D-Man, Squid, Dan, Cash, Rario. <laughs> and it was finally time to start development. I'm curious to see. Let's open version 1 and see what's in it. There's probably nothing in here. Actually, there might be a little bit. What the fuck? this oh my god yo this looks like shit so the original map was gonna be a part so it's not even actual terrain this looks really bad i don't even think there's any like actual scripts or anything i think just the pickup system is in here let's see what changes were made in version 5 it should definitely be better than version 1 all right, so version 5 is definitely a huge step up from version 1. As you can see, we switched to terrain, which looks 100 times better. We now have the part, we have the border of the map. We have walls in kind of a circular formation. We have some stuff added to the truck. We have the actual stick shift, the wheel, and overall it just looks, you know, a little bit better than version 1. Around this time period is when I started getting, I don't know, a little bit worried that I was going to disappoint people with the game. The game had gotten so much attention that I thought, I was incapable of making something up to par with what people were expecting. And uh, it, it definitely weighed on me. It definitely weighed on me. So there is a huge difference between version 5 and version 15. As you can see now, there is a little bit of a UI laid out for us. On top of that, the map has a bunch of... The map has a bunch of new changes. So the facility is all the way over here now. We also have a constructed building or in construction building. Some holes, big holes. This lighting, which looks like diarrhea, which, you know, don't worry, this didn't stay for too long. And a little bit more progress on the truck. Something interesting, though, that you'll notice between version 15 and version 30 is that uh, nothing changed. Something that I noticed that started happening with the team is that everyone was getting burnt out from working on the game. The game had been in development for about a week and a half at this point, and we had been going hard at it every single day. I let the team know that I understand where they're coming from with the burnout, and that we'll be taking a few days of a break from the game just to regroup, have our mind focus on something other than unpaid workers for a little bit, and then uh, when we come back, we can lock in. I'm not gonna lie though, this is when my confidence that the game was gonna come out on time hit an all-time low. Honestly, I wasn't feeling confident that this game would ever come out. Of each other's lives. Hard to hide. <laughs> You're never gonna the game's never gonna get released. You know the game's never gonna get released. Shut up! <laughs> Haircut, haircut, yeah, I got a haircut. Yo, yo, stop, stop asking, me, asking me now. Oh, oh, is that a haircut? Oh, the, the word, word is, is out. out. The, the jig, jig is, is up. up. Yeah, I got a haircut.
Anyway, after everyone came back from the short break, development started to pick back up slowly. So as you can see, version 30 was saved on January 28th, whereas version 31 was saved on February 3rd. Let's go ahead and see what version 31 has in store. All right, so there's some changes. So the lighting got changed up, and we also began working on the two other areas that were going to be in the game. This is your home base. This is where you go at the end of each day to recharge the fuel in your truck. And if any players died, then they would get respawned here. Over here was the company selling area. Basically, you would sell the scrap that you collect here and you would get credits to spend on stuff in the shop. <laughs> Around this point in time, we also got scanning working for the game, and we had the toolbar somewhat working, as well as the flashlight. Could it be? The game was finally coming to fruition, just as I always envisioned it. We started giving out early access roles, we got a brand new truck model that looks beautiful, and on top of that, we had raised over 150,000 Robux in donations. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so, unfortunately, the release date got pushed back. It wasn't too much, though. It was only a week, but still, uh, I never wanted to push it back. But we definitely did need some extra time to work on the game. Anyway, that pretty much leads us to present day. First clip we have here is the selling mechanic. Next clip we have here is of the finalized interaction system. And here is the map generation. The new rooms have not been implemented yet. There's a ton of stuff that I didn't show about the game in this video. If you want to see all updates made on the game every single day, make sure you join my Discord server linked in the description, where we also randomly give out early access to random people. The game is supposed to release an early access in about six days. Will that happen? I think so. And another thing, game development is hard, but so is a lot of other things. So just because it gets hard, don't let it discourage you. Anyways, chase your dreams. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.